Okay, okay. Not nine. Oh, Repeat. 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 It's been a couple of weeks ago I had talked to you on the phone and man I've been watching and following on Facebook. Oh yeah, I've been good. And I wanna start off by saying, man, I love your music. Your music is, you know, very re relatable. I can relate to your music. I can ride to work every morning, you know, and vibe to your music. Thank you. Thank and, you. I hear that. I hear that a lot. Oh yeah. And uh, man, I wanna ask you, man, uh, how did you become so inspired by making the type of life songs that you make because the song that you make is you know inspiring on a day by day thing I became inspired by listening to old music older guys and um that was like in their 20s when I was in my early numbers I say mm -hmm. 9 or 10 that's when I started rapping like 9 or 10 right so right that's when I became inspired I used to rap about swag a lot and I know I have sway, so I shouldn't rap about sway. I should rap about my lifestyle. That's what people want to hear, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I agree with you when, you when you say that people want to hear about your lifestyle because a lot of music now involves killing and a lot of drill rap. And it seems like the drill rap encounter uh, is it, pretty much exceed the expectations now because it's, it's very popular. But I, I feel like we need soul music like yours. We need guys like yourself, you know what I'm talking about, to kind of bring that culture back for us. Yeah. Yeah. I most definitely agree. Right, right. And I want to ask you, man, uh, you said you grew up around a lot of old heads. So I'm guessing maybe you had your pops or something, you know what I'm talking about, with you to, to guide you and help you through the way. No, I mainly had my grandfather and my uncle. He's in his 30s right now. I'm in my 20s, but it's not a big age difference, but yeah. Right, right. Okay, so uh, how was life for you when you was coming up? Life for me was... Was good. I'm not gonna say I have a silver spoon, but I'm, I did see some struggle. But life was good for me growing up. Even though I did have my father in my life, you know, I see him every blue moon. But mm -hmm. That was cool. So, you know, every man need his father in his life. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Man, I want to ask you this right here. Uh, you know, you you, you started doing mirrors. At what age did you just really pick up on mirrors and just take it serious and say, "This is what you want to do." Nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay, okay. Not nine. Oh, probably, probably. You got it. Yeah. I ain't gonna say nine. Okay, I'm like, I could know I want to do sports and all that. What, what age though? I want to spit the net. Right. Um, <clears throat> age. Let me see. When did you really realize that you, you had to give? I had to give when I was like, oh, 10th grade for sure. I right. was 